Hello my soul family, welcome to the Spiritual Counseling TV Network and welcome to your weekly spiritual guidance for this week of December 5th through the 11th of 2022. My name is Christy Ramirez and I'm your soul coach, spiritual influencer and motivational speaker. So we are here for the weekly spiritual guidance December 5th through the 11th of 2022 and today I'm actually showing up a little later this Monday evening but it's all for a reason. I had to do a lot of things personally. Also, I was teaching at my school last week, a lot of classes to kind of catch up so that we can finish on time before winter officially starts on the 21st of December. And I'm already feeling the Christmas vibes, the winter vibes. And I feel like this week is, again, getting into the spirit of joy. I hope that you all checked out my new Advent messages series that has been uh, posted on my youtube channel as well as on my instagram channel um definitely watch that because that is like your own little personal journey in raising your vibration and bringing in more joy not only this christmas season but also for your entire personal life and i feel like that is a focus of this week it's a lot of yes how can we be of mission better how can we improve what we're doing for the collective but also how can we bring more happiness and joy into our personal life that's what christmas season is mostly about right it's mostly personal versus more like work although there are a lot of work activities holiday parties coming up christmas gift exchanges and all that wonderful things that really help us to bond right which is a core value of what really Christmas is about, right? It's not so much about the gifts, the money that goes into it, the extravagance in the decor and the parties, etc. Although that is a lot of fun, right? You know, I love to do all that part because I love everything that is art. But it's also about the people in it, right? Because if you're just in it by yourself, then who's going to be there to enjoy it with? So this is what this season and this week in particular is bringing up you know we've been talking these past couple weeks about these different changes coming up and awareness into our consciousness about what needs to change what needs to improve what needs to shift and this week what needs to change is something in relation to people so whether that be family oriented whether that be friendships whether that be partnerships whether that be business collaborations something in regards to people is coming up this week for awareness and then contemplation about how we can improve this aspect to our life you know this is interesting because you know we are coming off a huge period in history right of 2020 ever since now about people being more distant there being more isolation and whether or not it's isolation there's been people like in twos, in threes, little groups isolating themselves even from the collective itself. So there has been a lack of unity worldwide and I've been seeing this firsthand and it's kind of like intimidating to even be a part of like a new group if you don't have a group or getting to know people. Like right now it's a lot of who you already know, right? Because all the people who have already chosen like the little circles are very clamped up and like don't let anybody in, which is kind of reminds me like high school, right? Where they all have the little circles, like the sororities, they all have the little niche. And they're, each group has like their own little thing that they're all into, right? And if you're not into that, you're not allowed into that group, which just sounds like very like mean kids, right? And I do think that that is something that is happening worldwide. And the reason why I'm bringing it up this week in particular, because this is more like a collective theme, right? But this is like the message because if you feel like you've been excluded from any group, don't feel bad about it because there's a lot of people like this right now. There's a lot of outsiders alone that I feel like a lot of these outsiders should actually be the ones to come together. Hopefully God will find a way to do this because I do feel like there is a lot of this because there is a lot of people like myself who have a lot of different talents and are not particularly just invested in one particular hobby although we all have something in particular that we are like number one in our life right like something that we're like the best at and i feel like that is perhaps what we should focus on what it is it that you're best at and let that be where you find friends where you find even your lover romantic partnership 
because that's where probably you're going to be taken the most seriously and you're going to be the most admired versus trying to find a place where maybe it's like a hobby of yours but maybe it's not like your first passion and maybe it's not like the first thing that you're the best at maybe you're good at it right because we can be good at a lot of things but it doesn't mean that we're the best at it it doesn't mean also that we've been doing it all of our life what is it that you've been doing most of your life because a lot of us have even like not even done something all of our life right like for me there are certain things that i've invested more time into something versus other things but there are things that perhaps i've started earlier than other things but maybe didn't follow through and that wouldn't be put in that category what is it that you have put most of your time into that you're really good at because you've invested so much time energy and effort that you've basically mastered it and you've become an expert at it and that is what's going to be your source of abundance that's where fortune lies that's what god is telling me because i feel like this is a source of frustration for a lot of people maybe a lot of people who are more like on the entrepreneur side the individuals out there those people with an individual leadership personality what is it that you're really really amazing at what is it that you're gold at that is your way today and what's going to find you even source of happiness because if maybe you've been putting that on the side or maybe you've been focusing on like you know money because i know that this is a an issue right now in the collective although that's also a mindset shift right because if you have a positive relationship with money you're going to naturally attract more of this into your life effortlessly, right? And that's what being a manifester is. So I feel like this week is really teaching us about how to shift our mindset into what we want and knowing that we are deserving of it and we will attract it if we believe that we can. And that's as simple as it is, right? This week is bringing really positive energy. I feel like it's opening up also a gateway. And ironically, we are, I just say that this is the week of the 5th to the 11th. Guess what? Next Monday is the 12 12 which is a huge portal gate into even new beginnings miracles in the air right i have a firm belief I, I believe in numerology right that numbers do have synchronicity to it irrelevant of what's really happening energetically or in the stars because that's a separate story but we've just come off like the 11 11 energy in november and this is the week that we're preparing for this 12 12 and this is the final, final gateway before 1-1, which would be the new year, for manifesting miracles of joy, of love, of laughter, of health, of wellness. Because these are the things that are really important in life. And if you want more financial stability as well, this is the week where you make your wishes to Santa, you write your letters, and then send it off to santa and then hopefully you've been nice enough to deserve them because if you've been on the naughty list all year then I, i'm sorry to say um you're probably not going to get what you want this year so it's probably a good chance for you to change your ways this year before the new year and start a new slate in the new year so that you can be deserving of what it is that you want right so that santa could be good for you right santa being the universe being god himself because that's good karma that's the wheel of fortune card that we manifest what we deserve what we've been reaping all year so if you've been good on this year if you've been giving your time to being of service to god's mission to the collective in some way if it's not all been about you and your family because even that can be a little selfish in god's eyes right we all have a family to take care of but we also have things that we can do for humanity we all have maybe you have children Maybe you have parents. And maybe a lot of us light workers have been on the other side of this stick. We've been overly focused on the collective and giving to God, but then we've been neglecting our own family. And then God is also telling us that they also deserve a little bit of our love and time, right? So everybody has a little work to do. Those of you who have been really focused on, I know a lot of people who are not really invested in like the collective mission, probably don't even watch these kind of videos because there's so much more into just enjoying life and just even creating a good life for their children for their family which is all good i'm not saying that that's bad because that's what my parents did to me right and how i grew up to have a good life but it's also fair to give some to whatever god wants you to do in particular you have a unique purpose and if that's you this is your year to find your purpose and do something about it and then for all of us who have been overly invested in this mission we're being asked to seek a little bit more balance and 
reserve a little extra time for our personal life. And I feel like that's how we can all balance each other out. You know, I'm seeing like the candy cane card in my holiday deck, which does represent balance, balancing the yin and the yang, the polar opposites of where we've been living our life in. All of us have been living on extreme levels, whether on the left side or on the right side. And now we're needing to find a medium somewhere in the middle so that we can all be happy and we can all have a little bit of everything in this new year. So that's our focus this week. I will be expanding on this plus more messages in the extended weekly spiritual guidance. So make sure that you also watch that video with a cup of coffee because that does go a little longer into like 40, 60 minutes. And make sure that you also check out more exclusive messages and behind the scenes content on my Instagram page, which is at Christopher Ramirez underscore so coaching i do a little extra counseling session of like 50 to 20 minutes no more uh giving you personal tools that we where you can do this week to help you in the instagram subscription which is only 2.99 a month and then if you also click on my stories i just talk a little bit more behind the scenes just little extra messages here and there and then of course check out all my posts because all my posts i seek to inspire and give you little guidance here and there throughout the week have an amazing and beautiful day and i'll see you all for the dailies this week Namaste.